we're going to actually try and disassemble this fan. So I'm going to use this razor blade here. And you see these little plastic tabs. Actually, let me get a black thing to make it easier to see. So it'll be harder for me to cut this because this stuff is squishy, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so you got these little black plastic tabs here. We're going to be cutting these off with a razor blade. Okay, so kind of just um, slice or saw at it slowly. You don't want to try and cut too quick or you can cut yourself. All right, so just go slow, just like that. All right. The problem is this one, they kind of have it recessed, so it's going to be a little difficult to remove. But we're going to just keep continuing. Hopefully we can remove all of them. All right, we got that. So what we're doing is we're cutting off the part that's expanded, so they melt these plastic tabs, so that way um, it's bigger than the hole that the metal piece has, and that holds this plate and metal plate in place. All right, so we're going to cut this one off as well. All right, so the most difficult one will be this. I don't know how I'm going to cut that, but we'll see. I guess I can kind of get it in at an angle like this. And let's see if we can cut this one. We're going to slowly, slowly slice at it. OK, it looks like it's working. There we go. OK, perfect. So we got that all out. Now we should be able to lift this metal plate off. OK, you can see it separates. And do this slowly just in case it's getting caught somewhere. All right, there we go. So we got that out. I'm going to brush the dust off. OK, brush the dust off here. And if we're lucky, these propeller blades will come out easily. Let's see here. And we are not lucky. So this one, I'm going to have to check with my customer what they want to do. Because if I attempt to just rip this out, there's a good chance that these propeller blades are going to be damaged. And if that happens, then we're not going to be able to repair the fan right away. We'd have to buy a replacement. But um, it looks like there's the lip here that I can kind of push against. So if I were to kind of push on this, usually I would use a magnet tray with some screwdriver, I mean tips, between here to push on the back of the fan. Um, but we'll see um, depending how this goes because these fan propeller blades seem kind of more fragile. I might use something to line it, maybe shove some pieces of broke or cut up credit cards under here. And yeah, but let me check with my customer first, see what they want to do. And then I will, if they say okay, then I will go back to recording this video. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, so the customer said okay to attempting the fan repair. If anything, worst case, we'll order a new fan which is about $20, $25 or so. So what we're gonna do is, let's see if I can use this. This might be too wide. Um, hmm. Okay, so what I wanted to do was get these, okay, it looks like I can get this, the metal shim here between, so my pry tool, and then I'll try and do this side. Nope, it's too wide. So I was hoping that I can get this underneath and then I can use that as a surface to push up against. Um, but it looks like I can't really do that. So I might have to do it the other way and just hope that everything turns out OK. Um, let's see, how would I do this? What I would recommend is if you can get like some shims to go under. Let me see. I'm going to try with just some pieces of plastic maybe. I would use a thicker piece of plastic if you can. Let's see, do I have the... I'll try with these broken pieces of keyboard things. Oops, I'm dropping my USB stuff. Okay, so let's try using this. So this is what I use to work on keyboards and stuff, but let's see if I can use them as just little shims to hold the stuff in place. So these are just cut up little pieces of of um, credit cards or those junk mail advertisement credit cards okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put these under here to act as a place to push on the back of the fan propellers and that way all the force will be put on the pieces of broken of these plastic credit cards instead of on the propellers themselves and that will help spread out the force or the yeah on the back of these. So I'm using that. OK, 
Okay, and then what I'm going to do, let's take this tray like before, I've used on other ones, we got this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let me get that, and we're just going to get these little plastic pieces evenly spread out between the propeller blades, okay? Preferably on the larger opening parts, so that way I can use that to push on the fan, okay? So if you look at the back here, you got these larger, oops, the larger openings here, here, and then one here. So I'm going to try and spread these out to be in the middle of those. Okay, just like that. All right, and then what we're going to do, like the other one, fans before, I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but let me try and get this more even. Okay, so you kind of want to get that more centered. This is going to be a little bit tough to try and, oops, keep them evenly spaced. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Alright. So this should help because these, okay, let's see if I can, okay, so like that. Alright, I'm going to leave it straight up this way, so hopefully you get the idea. We're just going to get these shims in there. Okay. You want to make sure that the shims are just pushing against the fan blades and not the um, microchip, the controller chip that, uh, I don't know what you would call it, whatever makes the fan spin. And anyways, we're going to get three of these thingies, okay? And probably need some shorter versions of these. These are too tall. But uh, basically what we're going to do, we're going to take these. I'm going to use the other ends of it because this will probably give a more stable. Okay, so we'll use these larger ones. And let's see what else. Okay, well, we only need three larger ones. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is space them so that they're pushing on the back of the credit card shims. Okay, so it's going to be tough now because I can't really see where I'm lining it up to, so I'm going to actually have to look from underneath. Sorry, you're going to get not a very good view, but uh, hopefully you get the idea. Okay, just like that. Alright, get the second one. Okay, again, you want to try and get it underneath. really tough to get this lined up properly. Hopefully they are lined up right. Okay, and we need the last one over here. Sorry my head's getting in the way I know. But do what I gotta do. Alright, and once you get them all lined up, okay, hopefully they're... Come on, stay lined up please. Alright, Sorry, I need to look from underneath to make sure it's lined up properly. Nope, it's not lined up properly. Man, this is tough to line up. Okay. I guess what you can do is you can kind of slide it around until it kind of falls in the slot there. Like that. And this last one, it's not... Close enough, I hope. Nope, I need to make sure it's going in between, not in the... Okay, like that. Alright, so now we're going to just push on this and hope that it puts enough force to pop the propellers off. Alright, just like this. Oops, I dropped one. Again, this is pretty tough to get lined up right. All right. Oh. Okay, let's see here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually take these little plastic shims out first. I'll get it lined up, and then after that, then I'll add the shims in place, okay? Because here you can actually see where the metal things are going in. So here you can see here. All right. Get the second one over there, and the third one 
over here. So here now you can see all three are lined up. So now what I'm going to do, let's try and put these metal or these plastic shims in. And hopefully they will stay in place. That's the problem is making sure that they all stay in place. So if I were to put this here, okay, lines up, you can see. All right. Let's get that shim in. There we go. Let's get this shim in. Okay. Hopefully it's going to stay in place. And let's get the last one in. This one's going to be tough because I have to slide it from the side here. Let's go this way. Alright, and then I'm going to use this to kind of help guide it. And then once you get it in place, just lift it slightly. Get it over there. There we go. Alright, so let's try and push down on this and hopefully it will work. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Alright, I found a better way to do it. I do still need to make a better tool to do this. Because there is a much easier way, which basically um, makes a circle. So let's say you get these pieces and you just fold them over to be like an L shape, okay, like this. And if you attach a bunch of these L shapes together, you can basically slide them all around the fan like this. And then you can actually use that to pull it up. But you want it to be like a piece of metal or something, not these plastic bits. But this did work, so um, that's probably a better method than what I was doing before. So. I'll probably continue using that method in the future unless I can make that tool that I was that I'm talking about so all right so we'll set this aside we don't need that anymore all right so I found an easier way to do this so usually what happens when the fans start getting noisy or screwed up it's because the bearings dust or moisture or something got in or just the grease is going bad and what we need to do is just put some new grease in there so now that we got the fan piece out if you want you can go ahead and brush this stuff out as well all right and then we, like i did in all my other ones we'll get some um, synthetic motor oil you can use whatever bearing oil don't use um, wd-40 or cooking oil that won't hold up well you want to use like some high speed or motor oil. Um, everybody, well, a lot of people have cars or things with like um, maybe like a lawnmower or if you have a gas lawnmower or something. You can actually pull the dipstick out and get the oil from there if you don't have a bottle of oil and you don't want to go buy a bottle of oil. All right, so basically what you do is you just get that like I did, a needle, put the oil in there. You can also clean off the shaft of this, all right? And then put the fan propeller on. We're just going to spin it lightly without snapping it down. All right, then we're going to pull this back out, clean the shaft off again. Then we're going to get some more oil. All right, you just need a drop. Okay, and then put the oil in there. All right, and that should be good. So what we're going to do now, we just put the fan propeller back on, just like this. Okay, make sure it goes in right, and then push that down. You'll hear it click in place, and here you can see the fan spins nice and free. Okay, and it looks good. All right, close up the oil, put that away. All right, so I'm going to have to test this with my high-speed air blower, but this should be good. Take the metal plate, put that back on top. Okay, make sure to line up the raised plastic edges. Okay, and then because you don't have like plastic to melt back on there, what you can do is just get pieces of tape. All right, you want like a nice thin sticky tape. All right, one that can hold really well. And then what you do is you just get the tape and then we're really close to where the melted plastic pieces are. Just stick it on, wrap it over, right? Just like that. And that should hold it in place. And we're just going to put it close to all those plastic, melted plastic pieces. All right. 
just like that. Wrap it over. Okay. All right. You don't really need to secure this too crazy strong because it's not like anything is going to try and separate this. So, yeah, as long as you just have it so that it's staying together and helps keep the airflow into the fan, not flowing out of it. All right. Just wrap the tape over. All right, this last one's kind of in a weird spot, so I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it will stay. Um, you don't want it to go over this foam stuff, so be careful because the foam actually helps seal the air. So just go over. You can have it go a tiny bit on, but you don't want to, like, cover. So there we go. All right, so you wrapped the fan. We got the adhesive all around. I'm going to put a tiny bit more on one spot here. Okay, just like that. All right, so there we go. We got the fan.